Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Last week, we mounted a scope on this RWS Diana Model 46 air rifle, and I still haven't zeroed the rifle in, so I thought I'd bring you along and, and go over the zeroing in process that I use for an air rifle. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do it, and one of the most efficient ways to zero in a gun is to shoot a shot at your bullseye, and regardless of where the bullet strikes, you would move your crosshairs without disturbing the gun, move your crosshairs to where the bullet struck, and that would um, pretty much get you on zero within a shot or two. However, because the air gun moves so much when, when you uh, fire it, plus you need to pick it up and cock the gun before you can set it back down again, that means that the gun is never in exactly the same position for that second shot, and so therefore that method isn't the best to use. The method that I use is simply to shoot at the target, and wherever the pellet strikes, if it's high and right, I'm going to move my uh, adjustments left and then down. Uh, and I do that until I get myself so I'm shooting right on the bullseye. Now, before I even began this video, I went ahead at short range and I got my scope adjusted so I'm at least close to bullseye. And that's what I would recommend anybody else doing. Use exactly the same method I'm going to use here. However, do it at about 10 yards, and that way you, you'll know that you're close, and then you can move out to your preferred range, which in my case is about 25 yards, and then you can finish the zeroing in process. So that's what we're going to do today, and if you, if you decide to do it yourself, again, at 10 yards, use exactly the same procedure, get yourself close to the bullseye, and then go ahead and, and step it out to 25 yards. So without any further ado, let's get started. Thanks again, folks, for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Okay, so we've got our target out at 25 yards, and now we're going to begin the process of zeroing in the gun. So we're going to take our first shot and get an idea where we're going to hit, and then we'll adjust the scope one way or the other to bring it a little bit closer to zero. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. I really like this little rifle. I think it's going to turn out to be quite a performer because of its fixed bla uh, barrel and its Pretty nice trigger. It's got a T05 trigger, which is uh, one of RWS's or Diana's better triggers. So we're going to shoot at the left target first and see where we go. All right, a little low and to the right. So first thing we'll do is bring it up some. Now these. Uh, scopes are calibrated, most of them, so that one click equals a quarter inch at 100 yards, which would mean that two clicks would be a quarter inch at 50 yards, and four clicks is a quarter inch at 25 yards. Uh, I don't imagine this scope, this is a UTG uh, mini SWAT, 3 to 12 power, 44 millimeter scope. It's not the best scope on the, on the planet by any means, so I'm not sure how precise that is and how accurate those measurements are going to be, but we're going to give it a shot. So we just hit low by about maybe one inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. So with that in mind, one inch would be four times four, right? Because a quarter inch, there's four quarter inches and it's four clicks for a quarter inch. So we're gonna do 16 clicks up. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's see where that goes. Now, if my calculations are correct and the scope is calibrated properly, we should be very close to the bullseye as far as elevation goes. You always want to do one and then the other. Don't try to adjust for elevation and windage all in one shot. Get your elevation right or get your windage right and then get your, your opposite axis correct as well. Do it that way because sometimes with these scopes, you think you're doing the right thing, but once you start moving knobs around, the reticle will jump on you, especially with a, in, in, um, an inferior scope like this one, not a real super expensive scope. Um, so my advice is to adjust for elevation or windage first, and then elevation or windage second. So if, you, if you've got it in line like we're going to do with our elevation, once we get real close to the bullseye, we're going to go ahead and change our windage to get it um, as close as we can get. <clears throat> so, now we should be up closer to the same level as the bullseye. Yep, 
All right, so that's pretty close to the bullseye. We need to come to the left a little bit, so we'll dial that over. Now, how far are we? We are about maybe a half an inch, so we'll do eight clicks to the left. That's eight. These are Crossman Premier 7.9 grain hollow point pellets. They shoot well in most air rifles for some reason. And this gun is proving to be no exception. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to shoot the, as the best pellet in this gun, but for now they're perfectly adequate for what we're trying to accomplish. Let's see. Well, that could have been me because we didn't change it by much. Let me try one more shot. I'm certainly not shooting my best today. I'm shaking like a leaf for some reason. I don't know if it's too much coffee. We got a little bit of wind. Um, so it's probably not the best day to even attempt this, but we're going to do it anyway. So we didn't make any adjustments. We're just going to confirm that that's where we're at here. Yeah, so we're still a little to the right. Let's bring it over again to the left. Well, eight clicks didn't do much. We'll do another eight. No, nope, I'm going to stop at six. But you can see what we're doing. We're basically walking the pellet home. We're, we're telling the scope which way we need to move in order to get that pellet to strike dead center on the bullseye. I have no idea what happened there, folks. <clears throat> no idea. I'm shooting way to the right on that one. I don't know if my hold was wrong or if I flinched. If the gun hiccuped. <laughs> I blame the gun. That's what they say. A good mechanic always blames his tool. close okay so whatever that last shot was I have no idea what caused that we'll do one more because I think we're pretty much in the black here or in the red in this case and we'll use the right hand target now and we'll aim for dead center and see where we hit Bull, bullseye that's a zeroed rifle folks so that's how you do it just chase that zero until you get it right where you want it if the scope's hitting left adjust it to the right if the scope's hitting high adjust it down just simple as that folks i want to thank you all for stopping by the pellets and pistons air gun channel if you haven't done so already please subscribe hit the bell if you'd like to be reminded of future videos and by all means give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one thanks again folks have a great day